So, the Black Anthem. I wonder what's going to uh, curtail in that song when it comes to uh, being it being played in most NFL games. The Black Anthem. I bet they're probably going to do the Black Anthem in regards to uh, the N starting NBA games. Now, I don't know about NFL, how about NHL, I have to say. But the NFL and NBA games, they're probably going to play that song. Because you look at the demographics of both the NBA and NFL leagues, they have about 80 to 90% black players, players that are black or non-white, but mostly black players because that's the bulk of their, that's the number of bulk that makes all, up all the teams. Now, as you may have heard, the, the racial incident in regards to George Floyd really blew over in the NFL. And I must say that um, I've been saying nothing's going to really change, even though this George Floyd incident has really curtailed and has caused a lot of a big awareness on the racism, race relations that's taking place in the United States. But uh, what makes people think that playing a black anthem in most NFL games is going to change things? I mean, you have black people are still going to be killed, and most blacks that are playing the NFL, they're not going to get promoted or even hired for basically higher or managerial positions or even allowed to even own a team in the NFL. So, how's that going to change things? I really don't know. But I think it's a mere distraction from the real issues that are in the NFL, like team ownership and opportunities for advancement for black, most black players beyond being beyond playing in the NFL. So those are the issues that I've been thinking about during this George Floyd uh, tobacco with uh, the black anthem being sunk. And that's all I have for this sports commentary.